thank you for joining us today for this webinar uh, for the Performing Arts Level 3 to give you an idea of what you can do with us at Southwest College post GCSEs. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Claire Fiddeman and I am Head of School for the Creative Arts and today my fellow presenter is Ian Blackford who is the course coordinator for the Performing Arts in Enniskillen campus. So Firstly, we'll get to the basics of what we're going to do today, but I'd just like to uh, point to you to the Q&A panel, which will be in your top right hand corner. If you click there, you can submit your questions. They'll be typed and myself or Ian will keep an eye on these during the course of the webinar and answer your questions as best we can. Uh, if we don't answer, never fear because we could answer as we go. So why am I here? Why choose Southwest College? Firstly, we have excellent teaching and learning. Everybody that you have is an experienced teacher and tutor, but we also have all worked in the industries. So we have a variety of ways to engage our students and to make uh, learning fun. And we have a holistic approach to uh, our students in that we encourage experimentation and we encourage failure because in the creative arts and performing arts, it's the only way to learn. So we give you the confidence to move on. We have excellent links with employers and industry, which means that we're always calling on friends and family and people that we know in the industry to come in and work with you, whether or not it's performance workshops, whether or not it's singing workshops, or whether or not it's just to tell you what they did to get into the industry. We bring those links to you. We're really open. We're obviously a creative community and a creative family, and we have a diverse range of people that come to our course. And that just means that you get to sort of bounce ideas off like-minded people or people from backgrounds that you maybe never met before, but just it just helps you progress in your journey to become a more secure and better performer or somebody behind the scenes, depending on what it is you want to do. We are all about the learning and we are all about instilling you with the skills and qualities and knowledge needed and confidence to learn independently, to undertake your own research, to put together your own ideas and to pitch your ideas to places as well. So don't fear about that. We we will take you through all the steps, but by the time you leave us, believe us, you are totally up there. Health and well-being is paramount to, our, to us of our students. We are such a close family uh, and close knit group of people across uh, the creative arts, but especially in performing arts, that we ensure that all the support that you need is there. We have counsellors, and we have you will have a personal tutor uh, like Ian, for example, and they are there to help you and all the other tutors and lecturers and everybody in Southwest College is there to support you. Our courses are all informed by industry. And as I mentioned, we have guest speakers and we use our industry links uh, where we can to help develop and shape the curriculum. And therefore we have courses that mean that you can progress directly into industry uh, and into your section as well as HE uh, with confidence and be secure in the knowledge that what you know is the right stuff. We have project based learning. Uh, quite often we'll have uh, independent industries and industrial bodies and companies in and you may think really even for performing arts. Yes, even for performing arts, we had the PSNI in and our students had to put together and devise plays uh, that sort of uh, increase the awareness around uh, Internet uh, safety for young children. So everything is practical, everything is real uh, and you work in groups and you work in individual and you work with people from different elements. So, for example, our performing arts students, if they're doing acting for TV and film, then they have to work with our media students who be filming them. So you get to know more people and you get to see how all the industries link. We have very flexible timetables in that we believe that our students need extracurricular activities, that they should have sports, they should have interest and they should have a part time job because those skills help build the student that you are. So we normally you're looking at about four days, three to four days a week, but normally four days at least that you're spread over or at least a half day. But it's all down to the you know, different disciplines, different natures, but you'll find that all out when you join us. What else can I tell you about the college? Well, 
We, I sort of alluded to this, the pastoral support, that is the care uh, and the attention that we give our students. Every single student has a personal tutor, but we also have a very, very strong student services department who are always on hand to help you sort of feel part of the student body, to help you with any issues, to sort out any financial issues. We have hardship funds for all the people who are over 18. Uh, we have a very open door policy. We encourage our young people to drop in. Do not be sitting worrying at home. And if you can't say something face to face, then use the social media platforms, you know, Messenger, uh, for email, all different things to contact your tutor, to alert them to any issue or to contact anybody at all. Uh, there's always somebody who is available to listen and help you with any of your issues. We do have extracurricular activities, which I'll talk about in a, a few slides. We have clubs and societies that you can get yourself involved in. And we do have competitions. Uh, we enter our students to competitions and involve them on projects wherever we can. You may think as a performing arts student that, you know, we have these innovation centres, but they may not be applicable to you. They are. We want to give you additional skills, so we'd like to, for you to get to, used to how to work with a camera, working on a green screen, lighting a scene, all the important things that you need in your career, even if you're not going to use, just to have the knowledge of. It makes you a better performer and a better uh, professional as you go. Uh, we have strong community links as well. So we regularly have our students go out and do performances in the community. Uh, one of our examples, for example, your court modules, sorry, for example, theatre for children is working with different you know, primary schools, but Ian will talk about that, so I don't want to ruin the surprise. And all your staff have industry experience. We are still practising within the industry. Ian uh, writes scripts for the local performances and performs in the Panto in Enskillen as well every year, as well as a heap of other stuff, which again, I'll let him tell you about. But these are not just people sort of sitting thinking, oh, I'll do performance and performing us. These are actual qualified, still practicing in industry people. So that's always good. Uh, EMA. EMA, you're probably used to that, having that at school, and that's absolutely fine. Fill in the form. So still go to studentfinanceni.co.uk and complete your form. But just be sure to pop in Southwest College and then we will organise the rest from there. You are entitled to a travel pass, so you need to go online and apply for that. But again, it will be sent to the college and we will get that out to you as soon as it comes in. And free meals as well. Everything that you'd be used to at school is the same here. If you are over 19, for anybody thinking of coming back to do A-levels and they're sort of over 19 on the 1st of July, then you need to apply for the FE grant. But that is available to you and that is paid throughout the year as well. But do make sure you apply for that because if you miss the deadline, it could be a bit sticky, but our hardship will kick in. So don't panic. We have no uniform. It's the best thing in the world. However, at the moment, given the current situation, we're all going nuts about masks. So a bit of PPE may be necessary for the face to face teaching, but we can make that interesting and try and have a bit of a competition of who's got the trendiest masks. Mine will be black. Uh, we have progression and pathways. It doesn't just stop at the A-levels. It takes you further to level four, level five. You can leave us and go on to university or you can stay with us as well. Uh, so these are all experiences that we take you through as a team. We don't just fire you out and expect you to figure it out. So don't worry about that. We like to send our students away internationally wherever possible so we do have Erasmus opportunities and we also have trips so if we can you know go away somewhere and take you away to see a bit of theatre or to enter a competition then we will do that but also if we can get uh, in international links with other people then we will take you over and get other students to come and work with you just to give you a bit more uh, sort of immersion in different cultures and meet different people and I'd sort of open uh, the horizon for you. We have excellent, excellent uh, facilities and space uh, and you get to, you know, work with different people from different and do, as I sort of said, you know, uh, acting for the students with media and then come and helping uh, them with the editing and doing voiceover so audio works so you'll get to use all this different equipment and we have lighting and loads of specialist stuff that you can use and I suppose you're a bit concerned about 
current situations, what's going to happen? Well, all our students have been used, having lessons such as this, getting to see this suddenly mug every single day for the duration of lockdown because we have just carried on. We have everything online. We use Canvas, we use loads of different tools, we'll use video calls, we'll set tutorials, loads of different things to stay in touch with our students. So you don't need to panic and you're sitting there thinking, well, what about me? I'm new. That's absolutely fine. We will make sure that you are 100% confident in all our systems before anything happens. But believe me, at the moment, we are planning to make sure that everybody is healthy and everybody is safe, but we will hopefully get to see each other. So, uh, clubs and society. So life at uh, Southwest College, it's a bit different from school. It really is. You call us by our first names, but it's really friendly and we treat everybody as equals. So therefore we feel it's important to us that the student body have a real identity and a sense of cohesion. With that in mind, we have extensive clubs. We have gaming clubs, we have eSports, we have LGBTQ+, we have Christian groups, we have sports clubs, sports teams, Gaelic football, soccer, futsal and many, many more and they're always looking to add and you don't have to be a sports student to be on these teams, you know, so don't think, well, I'm, I'm not doing sports. If you're interested, we will put you in touch with the right people and get you to the training sessions and what you need online. This year we have two All-Ireland winning teams, so we have the men's Gaelic football and the men's soccer. They both won, which is absolutely phenomenal, and we're always looking for more. If you want a drama, a musical theatre, you know, make it to something that you're interested in, or if you're interested in something different, like a book club or a uh, Knitting, who knows, whatever you think. I'm still pushing for a surf club because I think there's a lot of people who would enjoy that. And then finally, uh, pastoral care and financial support. As I mentioned, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the health and well-being of our student is paramount. And with this in mind, we have on-site counselling and we have Inspire Student Hub, uh, which is a 24 seven counselling service. It's 100% confidential. It's uh, it's just brilliant, a brilliant resource for all our students. We would rather that nobody keeps anything to themselves. It's always good to unburden anything, no matter how small it seems. There's nothing that we can't get over. It's not just if you you know, don't think that, well, I'm not really depressed. I can't do it. If you're feeling overwhelmed, we'll put you to the counsellor. If you're feeling anxious, we'll put you to the counsellor. If you just need to chat, we will put you to the counsellor. So please do not sit in silence and suffer in silence. We will direct you to that uh, resource and we will hope that you will avail of it. Student services, again, linked with the counselling. They have extensive uh, experience in dealing with all of our students and answering all of their needs. So we can take you through careers, we can take you through UCAS and CAO if you want to apply to university in the UK and Ireland. Um, we take you through that, your personal tutor will take you through the process as well, but then we have careers advisors and guidance counsellors online, on site and online in this current situation to help you with all your decisions and just to give you a bit of extra attention and support if it's needed. EMA and the, the FE grants, as I explained, also down here if you're missing a payment or if you're not sure about your attendance, our team are there to help and learning support. A lot of students, especially creative students, find themselves, uh, you know, needing a bit of additional support. So, you know, with dyslexia, I'm dyslexic. Uh, and therefore, with this in mind, we have in-class support for just general for everybody in the classroom, uh, but one to one support outside. So you don't feel that you need a classroom assistant, but you just need a bit of help with your dyslexia, with your time management, with your organisational skills, proofreading. We have that arranged for you as well. And it's an hour a week and we sort it to fit in with your timetable. So the course, the courses. Basically, we have uh, two courses that Ian's going to take you through. Uh, and so really, I have no option other than to pass you over to Ian Blackford, who is the course coordinator for the Performing Arts in Enniskillen. Hi, everybody. I'm Ian Blackford. Uh, firstly, thank you, Claire. You can tell how passionate Claire is about the college, uh, and that's mainly because she can see the benefit that the college has on creative students. Um, whether it be media, art or uh, performing arts. And that's why I want to discuss your options for studying at either Enniskillen or our Cookstown campus. So I'm going to talk to you about both campuses here um, and look at your options for this September. 
So the outline of the course this year, we're offering um, two courses. We have the extended diploma in performing arts. Now that's a two year course and it's the equivalent of three A-levels. There is also an option for a one year course, for the diploma. Um, if so if you were considering perhaps using this year that's coming up to top up your um, UCAS points, the one year full time would be the equivalent of one and a half A-levels. So uh, that would be ideal for your, your top up or a gap year alternative uh, if you're not thinking of perhaps moving away just yet. Um, so um, the kind of student I'm, I'm uh, appealing to, if you're committed to developing your skills and you have a flair for performing, then our course really is suited for you. We provide a very creative and inspiring environment for students to experiment and grow. It's 100% coursework. Uh, it's made of practical and written assignments and your assessed through your rehearsals. There are no exams. That's one of the big appeals of this course. It's very hands on and it's your you're assessed through what you do and the, not the pressure of the exams, um, which I think is important for performing arts because you find that students who are creative um, will will thrive in an environment where they can rehearse and they can perform and they can show off their creative spark. Um, in terms of the space we're teaching, it's open space, it's studio environment. Cookstown are very lucky that they get to um, use a theatre once a week to do their um, rehearsals and their lessons. Uh, Enniskillen, if you, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the campus, but Enniskillen have what's called Central Hall, a huge performance space, complete open box. Um, it's not a classroom environment. You're not stuck behind a desk, you're not stuck in front of a screen. The way we teach our performing arts is to have a go. We want to build trust, we want people to feel relaxed, we want people to interact and engage in an open space where they can learn the different aspects of performing arts. Um, again, that's very important for um, people's creativity. One of the best bits about Enniskillen is the space that we have. Um, all, the other, all the other courses are taught more in a classroom environment and they're jealous that performing arts are allocated this huge performance hall. And um, not only for our rehearsals, our lessons and even our performances are all conducted in the hall. And um, so over the two year course, we do offer a range of units and um, they cover multiple disciplines within performing arts sector. So you will explore multiple um, aspects such as um, acting, movement, voice, children's theatre, um, an example from last year, we were invited, we were challenged by the Pearson I to try and raise awareness through primary school uh, children of cyberbullying. So the students um, were given a blank page. They had to collaborate with each other. They had to devise a piece. They had to write it. They had to rehearse it. They had to liaise with the, the school. They had to go into the primary school and deliver it on behalf of the Pearson I, uh, which was fantastic. It was a strong message. It was aimed at the, the correct age group and it just showed what is capable with creative students when they're given the freedom to to create something themselves and not have to just necessarily read off a script or follow a textbook um, and that's what makes me so proud of teaching on the performing arts um, unit is that we allow students to express themselves they they break away from the confines of perhaps secondary school and they they show their own creativity and their own imagination um, and that grows throughout the two years um, with Cookstein, they do specialise in musical theatre. So if you have an interest in singing or musical theatre, um, then that's 100% the course. It's a very well established course um, and each year ends in a showcase performance uh, of a musical. Um, I don't want anybody to worry that they don't have any experience, or they don't feel confident in certain aspects of performing arts. That's why you would be joining the course. We're not looking for a finished student or a finished article or professional. We're looking for somebody who has an interest, an interest, a genuine interest uh, and an imagination. Um, we do try and aim for an all round experience of the course and we like to think that we leave the students with a, wi a wide range of skills um, and the confidence. They have the confidence to uh, move forward, whether it be for further study, whether it be for um, to try and obtain a job in the industry or to work on their own. In the past, students have taken part in a range of musicals, pantos, educational theatre and contemporary plays. There's a lot of focus on the performance side of it but not just one type of performance, not just the classical theatre, not just sticking to um, giving somebody Shakespeare for two years. There'd be a, a multi uh, range of different types of theatre, some that you are thriving, you will enjoy, some that you've never heard of before uh, and you will embrace. Um, 
students have also participate in a range of professional workshops and masterclasses. So we bring professionals in and we showcase what they can do. They give them the tool, they give them some industry experience. And then they, um, again, we have a have a go um, with, the, with the practitioner themselves. Many of our previous students have gone on to study drama, acting and musical theatre. And there are many students who've gone on to study non-art related courses. So I like to think that we offer a stepping stone to lots of different higher education courses, not only for the UCAS points, but for the, the actual self, self build that you will get from being on the course. There's also opportunities to move on to higher level education courses in performing arts or other creative media within Cypress College, which would save you on university fees as well. So I want, the main thing is I want, I want to reiterate that you don't need to have performance experience to apply for this course. We want students who are enthusiastic, imaginative, and show a creative spark. If you can collaborate with others um, and you feel like you have great imagination and you want to express it, whether it be through writing, my background is through performance writing, and I try and push that onto every single performing arts students I have. Because when you start to write your own material and you, you try and develop that and you see it go from an idea to a page to a rehearsal to a final piece, there is no better feeling. And this course offers you that in nearly every single one of the units. Um, and so that's why I'm so passionate about it as well. Um, so one thing I would like to just you to note that the Enna Skilling course has dropped off the website. So if you have an interest in the Enna Skilling course, then express your interest through the Cookstown unit of the website and I will pick it up through the address um, for each student. Um, that's just a bit of admin really. Um, what I would like to do now is show you a short video that we've put together just to give you a snapshot of some of the um, various, very diverse um, performances that we've put on over the last couple of years. Thank you, Ian, for going through that. And uh, that is just a very small snippet of what our students do. It's not unusual to see them running around uh, the building for doing performances, which is fabulous because it brings a life to the place. Uh, and we all absolutely love having them. And it stops my students, for who are media students, standing in front of the camera trying to act. So it's a really good resource and we work so well together. So how do you apply? Well, you go to our website. You go to www.swc.ac.uk and you click apply and you will find all the information that you need there. But at the moment, if you're just looking through and you're not 100 percent sure, then go to courses and search your course. Uh, and down the left hand side, you will see all the different search criteria and you click performing arts and it will come up with the different choices. And exactly as Ian said, there's further material there for you to give you any more information. And if you pick your session, so uh, whether it's Cookstown or Enniskillen, which will be coming back up, but don't fear, do just apply for uh, Cookstown and we can get that sorted internally uh, and pop it into the basket. There are no fees, uh, but it's important that you just check it into the basket and then check out and follow the, the steps as you as you go through the process. It's very simple, but you will also see on the website that there are the coordinators emails. So if you have any further information, please do just drop them an email and they will reply to you and get back to you as soon as they can. But as as uh, Ian said, you, you don't need to have uh, endless experience of being a performer. You just need to be really enthusiastic, keen to give it a go and to try your best. So on the next slide, we'll just have a few time for any sort of questions you can ask. You can type it in and myself and Ian will answer. Uh, one of the things I think that it's important to, to tell you is that uh, 
it's four GCSE C and above to join, but don't panic if you're missing English or maths because we will take you through that. We have essential skills and there's no additional fees. You'll be worked into your timetable and we'll get you your level two equivalent uh, and then progress you onto GCSE while you're a student with us. If you come in with a D having just missed it and feeling very disappointed, don't be. We will take that day. We'll put you into the necessary class again as part of your course and hopefully get you that in the following year. These things happen. It's been a very trying year, so you're not to worry about anything. And if you are in doubt of anything, just shout, just send us a message and we will give you an answer and find a solution. Well, if nobody has any questions today, I'd just like to finish off by thanking you all for joining me and thanking my colleagues here for making today's webinar possible. We hope we answered all your questions, but you know, you know where we are if you need us. Thanks. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.